So you look tired. What's going on, man? No, don't stand like that. <laughs> this, is, this is caught in action. <laughs> it's called, it, we're not faking anything. We just finished yeah, chess right now. <laughs> All real shit. So, E, what's going on today? On well, we actually uh, we just did chess. We did a little uh, ESPX2 chess training. So, Sil, this is Sil's reaction to that. And now we're going to do shoulders. Uh, we're going to do front and side delts specifically. We, we did rear delts earlier in the week. And I'm going to throw in a few uh, different techniques for how to do the repetitions. Just different... Uh, ways rather than just moving it straight up and down so you guys will see gives you something different to do new ways to feel the muscle different kind of pump uh, create a little bit more soreness so we can do that for shoulders hopefully have a kick-ass shoulder workout and uh, by that time we're done with it maybe still we'll actually be laying flat on the floor that's the goal right that's the goal <laughs> all right okay guys so the workout starting today for shoulders with the one of our seated shoulder press machines and he's using a technique called one and a half reps or actually in this case half and one reps what he's doing is from the bottom, he's pushing up halfway, coming back down to the bottom, and then pushing all the way to the top. So he's kind of getting a double press action. The first one has constant tension, and then he's pushing all the way to the top for full contraction. These one and a half reps are gonna give you a tremendous burn in the muscles. They're gonna fatigue the shoulders very, very quickly, so don't try to go as heavy as you would with standard presses, but you're gonna feel like you get a lot more out of them because of this dual action reps. As you can see, he's fatiguing real quick. Let's see if I can give him a rep. Nope. Come on. Come on, Sal. Push. Good. Excellent set. All right, guys. So the second movement what we're doing is using the side lateral machine. And we're doing something called double contraction reps here. Uh, being that this movement is a contraction movement, we're going to take advantage of that contraction, do a double contraction. As you can see, he brings the weight to the top, gets a squeeze, then he brings it down about a third of the way re-squeezes to the top and then all the way down to the bottom so it's just coming down about a third of the way and then contracting again as you can see so this is really really great for working the side delts because the contracted portion of the rep is a very strong signal for growth and we're taking advantage of it by hitting it twice we're keeping the tension on at the top because when he brings it down only about a third of the way the tension remains this is a very very awesome isolation for making the delts wider and thicker on the sides and again, because we're using these double reps, you'll go a little bit lighter than you normally would if you're just going straight up and down. Awesome set. Okay, so for the third exercise today, we're doing an incline cable front raise. Of course, we're doing it with a little bit of a twist. We're doing something called uh, positive pause reps. So basically, on the positive portion of the rep, what we're doing is we're bringing it up to about top of the chest level. He's holding it there for about three seconds. And then from there, he's bringing it all the way to the top. So he's pausing for three, squeezing all the way to the top using the shoulders, trying to keep the traps out of it. And by doing these positive pauses, it's causing a very, very hard contraction to be held in that midpoint position. And then from there, you can't use any momentum whatsoever from that point forward. So you really got to squeeze totally with the front and side deltoid strength in order to get it to the top. It's a great isolation movement, very, very intense, awesome set. Okay guys, so I know I said we weren't gonna do rear delts today, but I decided to throw this in uh, because I wanted to demonstrate this technique, which he's doing, it's called negative pause reps. So on the last exercise, we did positive pause reps. This is negative, so what he's doing is he's going all the way to the top, getting his squeeze, and then he's bringing the weight forward about one third of the way, and he's holding there for three seconds before returning to the beginning of the rep. So basically this is having you hold the pause during the negative portion of the rep, which is uh, the portion of the rep that really traumatizes the muscle tissue uh, and helps the muscle tissue to grow by breaking down the fibers. It's a very, very difficult technique to use because holding that negative portion of the rep, especially on the rear delt, on this machine, those rear delts are weak, they get tired very, very quickly, so to hold that portion of the rep is very, very difficult. Now, for you guys who just love to throw weights around, I challenge you to try these types of reps that I've been showing you today with lighter weight, and you'll see how much more sore you get and how much more you feel the muscle working. Again, another excellent technique for the shoulders. Biggie, look at this weather. <laughs> this is like, this is why we live in California. That's right. Because... Not to rub it in, people, but we are rubbing it in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like probably about 60 degrees out here. Completely I think it's like 68, it's close to 70. Maybe, yeah. 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 
Uh, not a cloud in the sky. Beach is right down the block. Yeah, it's awesome, dude. So, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Although there's there's other parts of California where it's like two feet of snow. Yeah. Yeah, like up in the Tehachapi in the mountains and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, but that's not California. We can't count that that is yeah. part of California. Well, that's kind of cool. You can actually go to the mountain and ski in, in the that's morning and, leave. And, and go to the beach in the afternoon. <laughs> the afternoon yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, anyway, um, I don't have any Ask Merlin questions today because when I put out Ask Merlin this week, people were just wishing me happy holidays and Merry Christmas. <laughs> I was like, that is not a question. <laughs> I know. More of a statement. Yeah. So, but anyway, you know, because, uh, you know, we're kind of finished. This will be the last, this will be the last show for 2019. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so first of all, let me say uh, a shout out to Jay Cutler and Jay Cutler TV. Thank you for another great year of uh, having me built by Brozer on the channel. It was a good one. Uh, very, very good year. Uh, we definitely saw a huge boost in the amount of people that are watching the show. And we appreciate everybody uh, who watches the show and uh, makes some great comments. Uh, I also wanted to say uh, thank you to the, you know, the companies that I partnered with this year, obviously. Uh, All Max Nutrition, um, uh, Gasp Official, uh, who's uh, supplied all my clothing, uh, the Insure Fitness Group, who I did a lot of work with this year and now partnered with uh, even to a larger level, as you guys know, and I'll continue doing a lot of work with them. And, uh, and also Trifecta Foods, uh, Trifecta Nutrition, who uh, supplies my meals for me, uh, and uh, another great company. So I just want to shout out to them and, and thank them again for supporting me for another year. Uh, and then I want to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I don't know, we have mentioned it before, but I haven't mentioned it in a while. Uh, there's a lot of people who, you know, want to work with me um, uh, with training, uh, but, you know, they simply can't afford to work with me on a personal level. So I want to make sure that people know that they go to my website, uh, which uh, Dave will put up on there. Um, and uh, what is it, What's it called anyway? It's www.rosabilt.com. Right, right. So um, you can go to my website and there's an area called um, Subscription Workout Program. Uh, and that's for people who, um, they can't work with me personally, so it's not personalized or customized to the individual, but what I do is, is I write new workouts uh, every single week uh, based on your level. If you want advanced workouts or if you want more basic and immediate workouts, um, uh, based on the techniques that you see me use on Be Built by Bros and that I use my clients, uh, but the exercises that I give you are generic in the sense that, you know, if I mention, you know, hammer strength incline presses and you work at home, you obviously don't have a hammer strength. So all you need to do is substitute the exercises a little bit, but the principles and the reps and the tempos, everything remains the same. And it's really, really costly, uh, not costly because it only could cost between $21 and $25 a month. Every time- It wouldn't be, it wouldn't this, be a beat up browser if there wasn't a fucking bike leaving. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. So like I said, it only costs uh, between okay. 21 <laughs> You are so nice. Most people don't even bother. You're so nice. Most people don't care for anything you, themselves. Thank you so much. We've been lucky today. People are so... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that is really nice. That's rare. A, yeah, That's man. Rare. Same thing earlier. People was going to walk in front of the camera and they actually stopped themselves and went around. That was I, so nice. I, know, I think really, they're in really, the holiday spirit. Maybe the holiday spirit or something. <laughs> so anyway. Um, so like I said, it's only between $21 and $25 a month. You can sign up for a month, uh, for, for six months, 12 months, um, however you want to sign up. Obviously, the more you sign up for, the less that it costs. Uh, and like I said, you get e workouts every single week emailed to you, usually emailed on Sunday night. So this is a really, really affordable way uh, to work with me in a sense and use my principles that you see here on the show. And all you got to do, like I said, is just switch some of the movements around if you don't have the machines. Uh, and then you can kind of customize it to yourself. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out. Second thing is I've I started advertising something called uh, XF. Another motorcycle, but that person doesn't know that we're No, it's the same guy. He actually went over there to yeah. be less he loud. Moved. That yeah. was nice. Yeah. So um, something called X-Frame Training, okay, or XF Training. Uh, and that is being introduced because there is such a movement now towards building the classical physique and obviously as you all know classic physique has become a huge division in the IFBB and the NPC uh, and also there's even before that became a thing uh, there's a lot of people out there who want to look more like Frank Zane, Steve Reeves, uh, Lee Labrada, Francis Benfado, Bob Paris they want to have more of that classic physique sculptured physique, small waist, 
wide lats, wide shoulders, not necessarily overly massive. They want to keep uh, the guts nice and small and tight. Uh, and some people prefer that, or a lot of people prefer that, to the more massive look of, say, like a big Rami, uh, Ronnie Coleman, you know, those types of guys. And of course, this is just preferences. Uh, but classic physique has really, really taken off. And I've always modeled my own physique training after classic physique, long before classic physique ever became a thing. I've always liked uh, the Zane look, the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger look, where, you know, everything's kind of in proportion, uh, symmetrical waists are nice and small and again building that X frame so I've developed a training program that basically caters to building the classic physique and I'm introducing it in 2020 um, so basically what I'm saying is that anybody who uh, is looking to build uh, that sculpture type of look uh, that olden day 70s type of physique or they're a an aspiring or current classic physique competitor and they want to improve themselves um, I'm going to be working with more and more classic um, physique people in 2020 and this training program, like I said, is going to cater to them. It's going to cater to building the X-frame using the exercises and techniques that will help to build wider shoulders, more flaring lats, smaller waist, more flaring uh, quads, uh, keeping control of the size of the obliques in the waist and just building that look that helps to, you know, gain the, the top spots in classic competition. So uh, look out for that uh, on my Facebook page, on my Instagram page, which is, which is at Coach Eric Broser. Uh, and uh, like I said, if you want to build a better, more classical body, then hit me up and let me know if you want to work with me on that personally. Uh, um, I should be starting to roll that out sometime in about mid-January 2020, where I'll start introducing that program. So just want to let you guys let you know. And I thank again everybody. I wish you all happy holidays. Merry Christmas, whatever it is that you celebrate. Uh, Happy New Year. And again, thank you so much for supporting and watching Be Above Our Bros on Jay Color TV. Awesome.